If thou wilt, cut off the heads of thy two children and be smear me with their blood. I shall receive life again. Besmear me? That's disgusting. Fairy tales? Weak, Chris. Very weak. Weak? Have you ever read these things? Not the wimpy versions, the original ones. Ah, uh, no, can't say I have. I have. They're full of stabbings and demons and man-eating animals, and cutting off limbs and whatnot. Cool stuff. My favorite, the one where the old woman kidnaps the prince and puts blood on the queen's mouth while she sleeps to make the king think she ate him. That's so gross. I love it. I'm not buying it. A kitty story is a kitty story, no matter how you cut it. Oh, man, you're not going to tell some tired old fairy tale, are you? Not exactly. The story I'm going to tell is about a girl who loved fairy tales. She had a huge collection. She knew most of them by heart. The trouble was, she spent so much time thinking about the world of make-believe that she started to forget the difference between reality and imagination. And when you do that, a fairy tale can soon become a scary tale. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Final Wish. <laughs> 